I do not own the rights of this music. Welcome to the replay, viewers. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. to you about two minutes away from this duplex let's see if it's worth anything it sounds like it's a deal but we gonna know in a minute Supposedly it would bring in 600 bucks a month, 600 to 700 a month. The neighbors looking at me like, what is he doing out here? I ain't doing nothing illegal. I don't break laws. Let me look around the outside of this building first. Stop, think, drive alive. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Need to be repaired over the garage. Is that even considered a garage or storage? Got a little, little back thing, a little back patio. I don't know who park it is. I guess they go to the house. They look all right on the outside, I guess. Don't look bad. They say the roof's supposed to be 10 years old. I don't see any damage. I see what two? That's a brand new AC on the other side. That looks like a good one. That's an old one, but then a good one. Okay, that don't look too bad. Okay, let's take a look on the inside. I don't know what this stuff is here dripping. Bad drip. Yep. Looks like it got a little fenced in area and everything. Ready to go. You like the outside so far or you don't like it? I don't know what these little extra storage things are on the outside. I guess that's what it is. Extra storage. Store your door. I was trying to get out here before it get too late. What up, Corey? Don't look too bad overall. What up, Nick? A duplex. It's supposed to be two bedroom, one bath on each side. I always check the outside of the house first. Because you can see what you're going to see when you get on the inside. This side looks better than the other side. Oh, this is the third air conditioner. 
mode check. That's right. It's the third air conditioner. He's got three units here. Three air conditioner units on a duplex. A fenced in patio area, I guess, where you have private area for yourself. He said the tenant that was here was here for 21 years. Can you believe that? Somebody paid rent here for 21 years straight. Now, why can't I get a tenant to pay for 21 years? I can't get him to pay for 21 days, right? What up? So, let's see here. Where's the lockbox? The fun part, breaking and entering. Okay, what's the code supposed to be? Please hold while we get the door unlocked. Mm -hmm. Five, 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 one. Like I'm gonna really tell y'all the code. Dreaming. <laughs> you thought you had the code. Well, at least I got the keys out, so that's a plus. Let's see here. This is unit 18. Knock, knock. Real estate. All right, here we go. You ready? Voila. Nice little open front area. Knock, knock. Real estate. We're here to buy some housey, man. We're here to buy you now, man. Hello, huh? Yeah, nice little walk-in. Don't look too bad. It could always be worse, right? Little patches on the wall from somebody. I don't know if they had a TV hanging up here or some bad artwork or what. Living room. Y'all silly. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Little closet, little bathroom. Where the light at? The bathroom. Good enough for a tent, right? Or do you want to update this stuff? Got a little HVAC. Got your water heater. Got your. Let's see. Has that filter been changed anytime soon? No. They ain't changed the filter in 21 years either. What? Cute little mirror. That's what that looks like. Where's the tub at? Oh, this must be the half bath. I think they're one and a half bath each unit. Hello. So there we go. Nobody coming in on me, right? Let's make sure. And here's the kitchen. Let me get you a light. Oh, where the light at? There we go. Where the light at to the kitchen? I can't find a light switch. Just cosmetic and refreshing, good to go. Where the light at to turn on? I guess I gotta hit this switch up here. Is that what I gotta hit? Where the light at for the kitchen? What happens if you go in the house and you can't find a light to the kitchen? It looks like this is a washer dryer hook up in the closet over here. Nice little drain. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of dark. Yeah, washer dryer hook up in the little closet there, perfectly hidden away. But yeah, it don't look too bad. And that's that back porch we saw. I want to know how the heck you get this light on. Oh, maybe this light switch right here might work. Nope, that's outside. This inside. Oh, maybe we ain't got no light up here. We got a fan. It's a quick flip. Exactly. That's what I do. I rent this bad boy out like this. No. <laughs> no, clean it up. But this is what the kitchen looked like without no lights. I don't know why I can't get them to come on because I don't know where to switch it in here. I found this switch, and this is three on there. No, it's only two. That one works for the outside porch light. And then this one works for nothing. So I don't know how to turn on the lights in the kitchen. Nevertheless, we got an electric range, if you can see that. Look like they took pretty good care of this place overall. I mean, it looked like a newer dishwasher. I know y'all can't see nothing in this darkness. You telling me? Oh, maybe the switch is over here. Oh, that's a dishwasher. Oh, there's a light. There's a light. I can't get that light to come on, but I got this light to come on. Newer appliances. Not new. New like. Like new. Cabinets are old, but they're functional. I mean, you're trying to be cute or you're trying to make money. 
That's the question you got to ask yourself. You want to be cute or you want to get paid? Let me know in the comments. You want to be cute or you want to be paid? You only get one option. It ain't always going to be pretty. It don't look too bad to be truthful. Let's see what it look like down there. Dishwasher look like it might. It works. Well, I know it works because it just came on when I hit the switch. A little light over the sink. Dual sink. That's a plus. But it's functional. Somebody would move in this bad boy and start paying rent tomorrow. Or you can update it. It does need an updating, but it's a pretty nice size kitchen. Right? Let's get paid. Let's get paid. Cha-ching. That's what I'm talking about. Granny cabinets, all right? <laughs> Y'all silly. All right, let's go take a look at the bedrooms. It ain't nothing but four walls and some windows, but let's look at it. Bannister looks kind of rough there, going all the way up. Now, let me turn the lights off in this kitchen before I forget. I don't want to be forgetting nothing because I got to go through the second unit. It's just unit one with the electric stove and the nice walkout patio. Y'all did see that, right? All right, let's see what we got here. I like to get this one for about 80000 That's what I would like to get it for, but, you know, I might be dreaming. At 80, I sign right now. Let's get it. No brainer. But the, the buyer want more or the seller want more. All right, so this is what this looks like. Got a little attic pulled down. Uh, a long room. Oh, wow, that's a big room. Where the light switch at? There's that. Hold on, let me turn on some light. Well, the lights don't work in this place hardly. Nice looking fan, but how you turn on the light? It only got one sting on it. Oh, well. I guess y'all can see good enough because I can't see crap. I'm going to turn that fan on. That's a newer fan, though. Nice fixture. Yeah, it needs a little paint. I don't see any roaches crawling around, so that's always a plus. My other house up in Berkeley, that mug, I went in the kitchen. The, the roach is looking at me like, what you doing? I'm like, oh, snap. We got one of them. Nice little ledge window. You can sit up there or put your little decoration. I guess it's supposed to be the master bath. I can't tell. A master bedroom, I mean. And then you got the master bath right here. Uh, let's see if I can get a light. Oh, we got a light. There's the master bath room. And it's got a little storage closet out here in the hallway. A large hallway. I thought he said the carpet needed to be replaced. What's wrong with this carpet? I don't see nothing wrong with it. The carpet needs to be replaced. That's what he kept saying on the phone. Yeah, that car. Unless the other unit is the one that's bad. Because this unit don't seem that bad. I might have to give him his offer. What he what he's asking for. Because I don't see much wrong. Now that's a shower head. You ever seen one like that? Spaceship. That look like that'll feel good. Splash y'all in the face. Sploosh. It'll hit you in the face so much you won't know what to do. Carpets look good to me. And let's see, talking about in the other unit. So I, the other unit must be out of date and messed up. This must be the one that's kind of newer. Because he said one of his tenants was here for um, three years. That's the big mirror. That's a large mirror in there. I like that. Um, he said the square footage was 950 on one side and about 1500 on the other side. I guess the other side is supposed to be a little bit bigger than this. But we'll see when we get to that side. But, yep, this is the bathroom. Old old vanity, old toilet. How you let it? Do it flush. That's all I wanna know. And here's another bedroom. Once again, oh we got light this time. It's a miracle. These carpets do not look bad. I actually like this uh unit. This would rent like this, right? Would you rent this place? I mean I don't see no water coming in on the ceilings or anything. I don't see any damage. Oh, I lied. What's that? What's that? Just a little cracking. I hope there's nothing bad. Nice property so far. Yeah, I got to see the other side. Of it. What is this? Oh, that's the wire. I thought that was a crack in the wall. It's like, whoa, don't be doing that stuff. I don't know. That's beyond my pay grade. Yeah, it don't look too bad. I guess this could be the master. I don't know. These bedrooms look about the same size to me. Nice big closet. 
Well, it's not really big, but a closet. Roof is 10 years old, supposedly. I think this is a nice looking place. This ceiling fan isn't as nice as the other one. So that's enough of this unit. Let's go check out unit number two. What do you think about this one? How do you grade this unit on a scale of one to 10? This is how it looks coming down the steps. Nice carpet. The stuff on the wall, but that's minor. I can fix that and I can't fix nothing. You know it's easy if I can handle it. All right, let's go see. And I even dropped the key on the ground. Uh, let's see what the other unit look like. And this is what the neighborhood looks like. Nice and peaceful. Look at that cat over there. Look at that cat. Get out of here, kitty. Yeah. Get all the way around there. Get all the way around here, kitty. Got a two-car garage, I believe. So let's see if... He said one of these doors are going to be hard to open, so... I guess that's the one. We finna find out. He graded a seven, an eight. It's actually a slab, so it don't have a uh, crawl space. There is no basement, so that might be a good thing. Uh oh. I thought he said the door was gonna be hard to open. Hello, real estate. Oh yeah, I see what he mean about this carpet. It just need to be clean. It's the other unit. Needs a little cleaning. Look like the little pee pee right there. That's all. The pee pee. The pee pee for my bunk hole. Oh wow. Somebody tried to update the ceiling fan over here too. Hello, real estate. Lucy, I'm home. <laughs> Look like more narrow steps. If that means anything. Got a little closet over here. See if any bodies in here. Or is that a closet? Hello. Oh, this is the garage. Uh, where the light at? Can't see nothing. Hold on. Oh, there we go. We got a light. This is the two car garage on one side. So, do they get to share a garage or how does that work? One person park in here and one person don't? So this is the bigger side, I guess. And then like that's a door that goes to that outside where we saw early. So 80, 80K is a sweet deal. Well, he wants 100. I want to offer 80, but I haven't even seen everything yet. And it comes with the brand new boot tube TV from 1960. Anybody want that TV? Even though you can't see it. But yeah, it don't look too bad. Nice work area. Somebody updated that. And I hope I can turn that back off. There we go. I turned it off. It's a miracle. So that's the G-Rodge. It don't look that bad. I haven't seen anything that's alarming yet. Maybe I haven't went far enough. Older closet doors over here. Older kitchen. Definitely an older kitchen. You can tell that's the unit where the person must have been here 21 years. There's the bathroom. Same layout as the other one. Water heater. I don't know. They got some pink water. I thought P's supposed to be yellow, not pink, right? How'd they get pink P? Alright. That looks newer. That furnace looks newer on this side. It must have been they took good care of this building. Actually. I like buildings like that where people actually took pride of it. They ain't just they ain't tired up. Alright. Here we go. The kitchen, once again, where is the light for the kitchen? I guess it's over here. One of these switches. Oh, we got light on this side. They're like, you got more cabinetry on this side, too. Nice big kitchen. Dishwasher. Is it a dishwasher over there? Yeah. Uh, oh, one with some apples on it. Apples. Don't bite the apple, Eve. A nice side-by-side -side refrigerator. I like this place, actually. You're not supposed to like the units. Okay, now there's some damage. Now we're seeing some some uh, repair costs. Whatever that is, it's some kind of leak. Something's coming in this... Here. I don't know what, but something is going on over here beyond my pay grade. You have any idea what that could be from? 
probably something from that garage or something, right? You would think. Yeah, ARV is supposed to be about 160, 165. So, you know, it, it's, it looked like a deal at the Hunter. But, you know, I'm greedy, man. I'm greedy, man. I be greedy. It don't look too bad, though. Hmm. The Godfather has entered the live stream. What up, Eric? It don't look too bad overall. You got your little walkout. I wonder what's the upstairs part then. Is that a separate part of the house or something? That back door open. Well, that ain't no good. This back door was already unlocked as soon as I checked it. So I wonder what goes up there. Oh, he said that's an extra bedroom up there. Maybe that's an extra place I need to go that I don't know about. So yeah, they got a nice little secluded fenced in area here. Some ice to watch out for. So that's another house up there. That's attached to this, right? Yeah, let's go see. These steps any good? We are not responsible for accidents. <laughs> Hope these steps some good. Oh, we look moldy up here. That's a whole nother house. How do I get in there? No, nah, that buyer, he didn't do anything. Looks like nobody been in this place in years. I wonder if that door locked. I don't have a third key. If it's locked, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in here. Make sure this stuff's solid before you jump up on it. I haven't been in here in years, it looks like. Nope, it's locked from the inside. Oh, maybe I get to it from the inside, too. I didn't check that. So back down the steps we go. Yeah, that bar didn't do anything. He didn't say anything about any of those properties or anything, so I don't know. But like I said, I like this uh, newer air conditioner. That old one probably still work good, but this newer one make you feel better. New stuff just make you feel better, you know? You just know it's going to last a little while. You ain't got to mess with it. So yeah, I'm going to lock this back door up. I wonder was this door unlocked too. Let's try it. Nope, that one's locked. Yep, that one's locked. But this one was unlocked. Why would they leave the house unlocked and then try to blame me? Might be zombies. Be careful. <laughs> I hear you. Maybe I can get into that from upstairs. We'll know in a moment. I hope this locks. Yeah, it locks. Somebody just left it unlocked. But yep, that's your... Uh, is this electric stove? Was it electric on the other side or gas? That was electric on the other side too, right? Nice electric oven. Dual sink. I need another big, big old spigot on there. You put a big fancy faucet on something, that make every the whole kitchen look better. Put a three hundred dollar faucet. Oh, they need some outlet covers on here too. I see. What's the code violation stuff? The usual. Y'all ready to go upstairs and see what it looked like? That's your little washroom. That's your little washroom. Hook up your washer and your dryer. Do some laundry. I guess I can kill these lights before I go upstairs. Mm, that's that. And then that's that. Oh, they got a dude over there playing with a lifesaver. He's gonna get me. That's that zombie you were just talking about. Yikes! Don't get me, little kid. All right, so that's the bathroom. Let's go see what upstairs look like with the pink pee. Hello. They don't have a big mirror like that other one had. That first unit had that big mirror right there. This one has two storage cabinets above. But, you know, it's workable. This looks newer than that other one did. It's livable. I like it a little bit. You're not supposed to like the units. You're supposed to just look at them as for what they are. Here we go. At least we got some lights on the steps. I'm coming upstairs. It's kind of the same layout as the other one. 
Same layout. Oh, that's what that extra room is over there. Okay, I see. So that's why he said that could be a third bedroom. So here we go. And these carpets do not look that bad. Where he keeps somebody need to be replaced. They need to be cleaned. But I'm not seeing any reason to like fully replace them. Clean these puppies. Give them a good shampoo and get you that three room for ninety nine dollar special, and get these bad boys cleaned up. Nice storage space there. But this is, I don't know if this is the master bedroom or just a bedroom. Look like money, huh? You like it. So you know this stuff, Don. Uh, agreeing with the 30K repair costs? Maybe. Because these bathrooms, are, I mean, you, if you really start thinking about updating, this stuff can start... This is the master bath upstairs. What's that, a camera? I thought I was being watched while I sat on the toilet. What is that? Master bathroom. Outdated. That old yellow. Big old mirror. <laughs> old sink. Don't look too bad. Pink. It needs a closet marked as bedroom. Mark it as a bedroom. What state you in? St. Louis. We in St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. Where we used to have the Rams, used to have the Cardinals, used to have the Blues. Now we got two. All right, so let's see what we got. That's that bathroom. And then you got a little storage out here for your toiletries and towels. And that's an old cabinet. Oh, but it's useful. All right, let's try it out over here in this other bedroom. This is the room we got a room off of it when we're trying to go outside. Um, light switch. Yeah, these carpets are kind of rough, but I think they can be saved. Am I wrong? A little closet over here, sliding door closet. A sliding door closet in here. Bigger closet, actually. It's bigger than that other one was, so this must be the master bedroom. And that's that little room we saw from the outside. I like it so far. I don't I don't really have too much to complain about. When you see so much turds and then you see one that look halfway decent, you're like, oh wow, it looks great. Nice little sit-on window, little windowsill. And it's that storage space that he was talking about that you can make it to another bedroom. Huh. Oh wow. It's a whole nother house. It's a bar. Oh, no, wait a minute, bro. Oh, no. Look at that. Would you look at that? And that's that door that goes outside right there. I'll be. Let's see how the roof or the ceiling look. I don't see any drips, drizzles, damage. But something going on downstairs. I still haven't figured that out yet. It don't look too bad. I'll be darned. This thing got a whole bar. You ain't tell me about all that. So this is what he was talking about. So you can rent this out as a separate space because it has its own entry to go down them steps. Come on up. You can have a little bar over here next door. And that heater right there, I want to say that's expensive. I think every time I've ever seen one of these things, it's always been high. So stuff like this automatically perks my interest. Christina, what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I want to say that heater right there is probably expensive, like maybe over $1,000, but what do I know? I never had one to know, but I know it ain't cheap. I know if I ever get a chance to buy one, get it. But yeah, it's got a bar up here, an upstairs bar. So I guess you got to have something. Also, this is the room he's talking about for a bedroom. This place keeps going and going. <laughs> Look at that, a whole nother spot in here. So this is a bedroom. Where the closet at? Do it got a closet? It got a closet. This is a bedroom. So why did he say it's not a bedroom? And that's a big closet too. Good night. This is this seven by seven by seven? It look like it. Let me do a wingspan check. Seven by seven by seven. It's seven foot tall. Seven foot that way and seven foot that way. I think this is because this is a bedroom. Three to five K depending on the brand. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all they work. But that's still not bad, though. 
because I've seen people buy them at auctions for like three or four hundred dollars for them heaters. I just never bought one. I just knew they were high. I'm like, if they paying that much at the auction, it must be worth something. So try to buy one. So if I can pick it up for a hundred and sell it for five grand, I can do that all day. <laughs> I might even ship it. But what is this room supposed to be? Just a room, a storage. Oh, maybe this is a washer dryer too set up. I don't know what this room is supposed to be. I thought we had a washer dryer hookup out there. Yeah, because that's a drain, and then that's the plumbing for the water, right? They don't have electrical in here for that, though, for a washer dryer hookup, or for the dryer hookup. So I don't know what this room is supposed to be. It's just an extra room off the room that looks like a bedroom. I don't know why he said this is not a third bedroom. He said it's a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath on each side. So that's that in that room. There's a heater. And that looks to be in working condition. But yeah, I mean, just coming over here and seeing they got this nice 1970s bar over here with the wet bar. <clears throat> Let's see what he got back here. You got any drinks over here? Anybody want some drinks? Ain't no drinks down here. A little sink. They try to knock me off the internet. You see that? Because I was in that little room for too long. I'm back. We back. But those are the lights. Kill those. And that's the bonus room. Enough of this place. So I don't know. I like it even at the money he want for it. But I'm cheap. I can't be too cheap, can I? And I guess this is just a bedroom. So it's three bedrooms on this side. One and a half bath. Two bedrooms on the other side. One and a half bath. So that's what it's about. And it's got that two car garage. Turn all these lights off. So he don't call me and say, hey, you left my lights on, buddy. I want you to pay me that bill. <coughs> Maybe I should have left that on so I can see my way down the steps. Would that be smart? Turn out the lights once you get off the steps. That's how it looks from upstairs. But I don't see that, he, that this carpet needs to be replaced like he says. It just needs to be clean. But okay, if he says it needs to be replaced, we'll, we'll go with that. That goes into our offer. Everything they say will and can be used against them. So be careful what you say. Let me make sure I locked up all of this stuff. Everything locked up back here. Yep. Lock that up. Lock that up. Let's lock these doors up. And then you tell me what you thought. What you think. What you think about it. What's your thoughts so far? Does it look like something good? ARV is supposed to be 165 he wants a hundred. Uh oh, this door don't lock right. We need a new door. Let's look for something to spend money on. Gotta love that. Close it all up nice and neat. Close it all up. And then put this lock box back on here. So actually, it's not too bad overall. I've definitely seen worse. So I, when you see something that looks like halfway potential, you're like, oh, man, I got to buy it. All right, let's see. How do we do this? And put this key back on here. Secure your houses all the way back. Place the lockbox back on and reset the numbers. So someone else can just walk up behind you and say, wow, I can live in here. But this house will be sold before you know it. I'll be buying this, I think. We're going to submit an offer. What's the code to this lockbox again? Come on. Don't do this. Come on. You gotta love lockboxes. They're your friends. What up, Matt? We on the attack. Back to back with platinum plaques. For those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, talking at real estate talk. Out here looking at this house, I guess this land all out here comes with it. I don't know how far his uh, space goes to, but I guess it goes. Nice little quiet street. You don't come on this street unless you live on it, dead end. That's a nice house over there. And I saw a nice looking house on the way into the uh, 
subdivision here. Well, it wasn't nice. It was nice for, as a person looking to buy the house, it looked nice. It looked nice, but yeah, this is how the house looks, or the duplex. The two-car garage. The duplex. It's bigger on that left side than it is on that right. I like it. I'm moving that puppy myself, but I don't need all that space. It just did a little old me. I'm living cheap, damn near free. <laughs> Ain't that the name of the game? Oh, I guess I should have seen what's on this outside part, too. I didn't look over here. There's <clears throat> one more part of the house I didn't look at. Got this old tree out here. I don't hope that'll, that's going to fall on the house one day. Hope not. I didn't look on this uh, little storage part. Let's see if I can step over this mud. Even though I got my steel toe, my steel toe work boots on today. Ooh, wee, that's muddy. So what's out here? Oh, storage. And I got an air conditioner. What the air conditioner in here for? You can work in here? Workspace? Hell no, I got an air conditioner inside this little room. I know that's right. And then they got another one over here if I can get to it. This building just keeps on going, huh? Bed rails and more storage. I guess you can't go wrong. If you ain't got no basement, you need all kind of storage, huh? I don't see much wrong with this house, I guess. It just needs a new owner. Make the owner St. Louis Cash Buyers. Buying your house for cash. Uh, uh, I gotta escape. I don't know if I can see where that dripping was coming from either from out here. But something, maybe that's where that water was coming in on this side. I don't know where that water was coming in from, but other than that, I don't see nothing else wrong with it. It needs an owner. It needs a new owner. And you know how long this owner that has it now had this place? Take a guess. How long do you think the owner who had this place owned it for? If he was to take a wild guess. Audience participation time. Woo, getting kind of cold out here. Kind of cold out here. Seatbelts. Seatbelts. How long do you think the owner had it? I know it's a little delay on uh, Facebook. They take like 21 seconds to get the question answered. I'll tell you, for those who got it right or got it wrong. 40 years. He had this thing for 40 years. Can you believe that? And somebody stayed in it for 21 years paying rent. One tenant on one side, I guess this left side, was in it 21 years. That's crazy, man. But those how, that's how it goes. I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Make sure you follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's everywhere. At Chris Monroe STL. And the website is ChrisMonroeSTL.com. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. You like that ching ching? Me too.